Welcome to another coding tutorial and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this bouncing ball. I made a series on introduction to creative coding and in this tutorial, we'll be focusing on two concepts, variables and conditionals. How we'll approach this is that first we'll draw the ball and then we'll move the ball around and then we'll check the boundaries to make sure that it can bounce around the screen. We'll use a function called ellipse to draw the ball. And the ellipse function takes in four arguments. The first two are the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle. And I will have my circle start at position 100, 100. And then I'm going to make the size to be 25 and 25. So now that we have the circle, I want to color it yellow. And I'm going to use the fill function. And the yellow that I want is at 255, 210, and 0. A little darker yellow here. By hard coding the number 100, 100 here, we cannot move the circle. So what do we need? We need to create two variables. I'm going to name it x and y, right? And the x and y will be replacing these two number. Nothing happens yet because we just replacing the way that we put in arguments. And now what we want to do is that we want to move the circle. And we can do that by using the expression x equals to x plus 1. Remember that this equal sign here is called an assignment operator. And this assignment operator doesn't mean that the left side of this expression is equal to the right side. But what it means is that, hey, set whatever is on the left side to whatever is on the right side. And by doing this, we increment the x value by 1 every time the draw function is called. And we want to do the same thing for the y value. OK, so now the circle moves. But actually, we also don't want to hard code the number 1 and 1 here. So I'm going to create two more variables. And I'm going to call them dx and dy. And instead of setting it to 1, actually, I'm going to do 2 and 3. So it's going to move two pixels to the right at a time and three pixels down at a time. The last thing that we need to do is that we need to use a conditional statement to check when the ball hits the border. And once it hits the border, what do we need to do? We want to change direction of the ball. And we can do that by using a conditional statement that checks the position of x and y. So if x is more than width, or x is less than 0, right? So if x is more than the width here, so if it hits the right border, or if x is less than 0, so if it hits the left border, what we need to do is that we want to change the direction of dx. And we can do that by multiplying negative 1. We don't want to change the speed, so we just multiply by negative 1. And we can do the same for the y direction. So if y is more than height or y is less than 0, then dy is equal to dy times negative 1. Then let's play. Bounce, 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 bounce. OK. You can also change not only the direction, you can change the speed, or when it hits the border, what if you change the color of the ball? Give it a try. 